What is up guys, Kaidom here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a quest system added recently to the uh, action RPG template available on the marketplace. If you're new here and interested in this uh, template, the link is in the description. So in terms of the uh, quest system here, we have a, a quest system where you can um, set up dialogues and get uh, do objectives and get rewards. So for example, we can go ahead and talk to this guy. So the quest guy is uh, derived from the AI class, which means that um, you can transition from being a quest uh, giver to, uh, to an AI that do something. So the AI element, such as perception uh, and enemy detection, is turned off currently, and you can turn it on whenever you want. So in this example, the archer is asking for a dagger and health potion to help you up. So once we complete this quest, this AI is going to be turned on and then he will uh, pretty much be following you and helping you up. In terms of the quest itself, we have multiple uh, things we can do. For, for the objectives currently, you can, uh, you can do like uh, request bringing certain items uh, or killing a certain amount of enemies or talking to some other quest guy. And there's also go to area, which is still work in progress. Uh, in terms of rewards, and by the way, the objectives, you can add as many as you need. The rewards, same thing, you can add as many rewar rewards as you need. So for the, for the rewards, you can get XP, you can get skill points, gold, uh, and items. In terms of dialogues, we'll see that later. We simply use a widget, which, is, which makes it so that you can um, uh, script your dialogues using a UI, which is uh, much easier than uh, manipulating data. Um, so, for example, in this example, this guy wants us to bring to the, uh, a dagger to help potions. We can either say, uh, give a positive response or a neg negative response. So, if I, um, if I uh, say here, I'll take my chances, then he'll say a certain response based on that. And then we can do goodbye. So, we can talk to him again and accept, and then he'll say something else. So, you got it, I'll be ready, etc., etc. Uh, goodbye. So, if I come back here and I don't have the uh, quest requirement, he'll give me another response. Did you bring me the stuff? Um, so in this in this case, we he requesting a dagger and two health potions. We have five health potions here. So let's go ahead and get that uh, dagger uh, right here. So now we have the quest requirement and we can complete the quest. So now I can click on complete quest and I get my uh, rewards. And of course, he becomes our ally, which is of course handled uh, in the com on complete uh, quest. So now if I attack these guys, he should uh, defend me as you can see there. Um, so uh, that's uh, well that's the first guy so let's uh, take a look at this guy so he's similar uh, this guy is asking us to kill the boss and, and these are the words so now this guy is gonna give us a ring we can see here and 25 gold um, and of course uh, once again if you say no he'll give you some response if you agree and then talk to him again he'll say maybe any progress so in order to make new uh, quest NPCs you need to create a child out of the BP quest giver so all you need to do is, here is right click and do create child. And we'll move this here to child uh, quest right here. Um, so before we modify our new, uh, or first let's go ahead and give them a name here. So for example, we can do BP new quest, for example. But let's first take a look at the uh, quest AI archer and see how, how he's handled. So when you complete a certain quest you will have a on quest completed function that you can override and in here we simply activated the ai set the friendly uh, actor so this gives you the player who completed the quest and we simply turn uh, or change the hostility of this ai to be of the same as as the player so he'll find alongside the player just like uh, how the friendly ai is set up so if we want to do the same thing here in our new quest guy we need to override that function. So all you need to do here is go to add new override function and you will find the on completed function uh, somewhere here. And here is the uh, function. So on quest completed. And once we click on it, we can override it here. So we don't need to call the parent uh, quest completed, but if you have any uh, custom logic there, we can uh, call it as well. Uh, and here you can of course add your custom logic for when the quest is completed. Maybe you can make the quest guy turn AI and then go somewhere else maybe, or like we did with the Archer, can become your ally. In terms of the quest here and how to set them up, first of all, we have a quest info component. In here, we uh, indicate the quest row name. So we, we're working on a data table here. 
and we can uh, indicate what data table we're working with. So the data table is simply to set the rewards and uh, objectives. And for the dialogue, we will handle that somewhere else. It is in a widget UI where we can um, simply drag and drop dialogues and set them up. So for example, let's go ahead and make a, a quest where we have to bring, for example, an item and kill a certain enemy maybe two times. So if we open the DT quest here, so once again, select the quest info component and we click on browse here. So it's also in the quest system here. So here we have two, um, two quests. So quest number one, so make sure that the unique ID is different. So as you can see here, this has one, this has two. Make sure you do not indicate the same ID twice. And also very important, the row name uh, need to be similar to, uh, to the unique ID. So whatever you set in the unique ID, need to be similar to the row name. So this is very important. So taking a look at the uh, Archer quest here, so we can see that dialogue right here, this is some data that we will create or generate from the dialogue creator. So, uh, so let's ignore this for now. We have level required. So we can indicate what level requirement um, is required for the quest to uh, be available. So for example, this uh, Archer right here, if we set the level requirement to two, then if we play, as you can see, this guy right here is not gonna give us any quest. As you can see, this is the icon that indicates that there is a quest. And if I go ahead and talk to this guy, nothing will happen. We'll make here uh, our requirement here to uh, one once again. So here you can indicate the um, currency earned. Here you can uh, indicate the uh, currency earned, uh, gold, silver, copper. Skill points earned. So the this is simply for the uh, skill points right here for the skill tree. You can also indicate what item to uh, get. And we'll do that later when we create our uh, quest. And uh, of course, the objectives here are, uh, as you can see here, we can uh, give a name. This appears on the quest dialog. Uh, there are four types currently. There is a kill, so kill a certain amount of enemies, give a certain item, talk to a certain uh, quest guy, and go to area. So like I said, at the moment of recording this video, go to area is a still work on progress. Um, and of course, we'll see these later. So um, let's go ahead and create our uh, quest here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a quest row name here. You can give whatever name you need, just make sure that it, of course it doesn't exist. Uh, it is by default the behavior of the data table. If I try to uh, set the same here, it's actually not gonna let me do that. So you need to do something different. So for example, quest number three. And once you do that, you need to put the same name here over here so quest unique ID you can be creative with the name give, give it like a distinctive name if you want but for my case here I'm going to keep it quest three um, let's for example do a quest where we need to kill the uh, mage AI so we'll call it for example quest name kill the mage or hunt the mage or whatever okay so the quest or name of the quest is hunt the mage we need to kill a certain uh, mage here quest description kill the mage AI and let's see. So we need, for example, to give a certain item. Let's say that this guy wants a shield and give a shield. So let's say that we need to kill the mage two times here. So kill the mage AI two times and give one shield. Okay, so that's the description. Uh, so quest dialogue here will generate it later. We'll see that. Level required, one XP earned. Let's get some 500 experience, let's get some pretty good uh, experience there and let's get 10 gold, for example. Um, skill points earned, let's get two points here. An item, let's say that this guy is gonna give us a dagger. So dagger, one item there from the weapons data table. And as of the objectives, as the description says, we need to kill two. Um, so objective name here, mage, mage killed. The type here is kill and the count is two. Here you can indicate the class uh, of the actor that you're trying to destroy. So in this case, we'll do uh, mage AI. So we have a mage AI here. So uh, BP AI mage mannequin child. So we'll select that. So we'll, we'll need to kill him two times. And the next objective here is to give him a shield. So that's going to be objective name. Um, bring one shield, for example. And the type here is going to be give item, only one shield. And we don't need to indicate an actor class here. We need to uh, indicate the item ID inside the uh, the weapons data table. Uh, I think we have a shield over there. So let's see. 
yeah, we have a shield over here. So that's the item ID that uh, we need to enter here. And there you go. So, so far we indicated the requirement or the objectives and the rewards are also indicated right here. So now we're ready to uh, set up our dialogue here um, for this NPC. Uh, for putting dialogues here, let's go ahead and take a look at, at the Archer uh, example. So uh, you want to go to the uh, quest um, creator here. So it's uh, once again, it's inside quest system. We have a folder here called quest creator. So what you want to do here is you want to copy this widget right here um, over the quest folder if you want. So it's going to do copy here. And right here we have our uh, quest friend, the Archer, the one that we uh, that we have for this Archer right here. And this is our new quest. So let's go ahead and rename it to something else. So BP quest, quest or new quest. Let's just call it new quest. So if we open it here, we are presented with some uh, with a user widget, a simple user widget where we can uh, drag these. Um, what is it called here? It's called BP quest entry. So you can either drag the BP quest entry or copy paste. So if we look here in the search palette. You can look for quest entry and you can drag it over here. First of all, let's take a look at how this is uh, how the Archer quest is set up and then we'll make our own. So as you can see here, we have two sections. The first section right here is the uh, quest introduction, which is the starting point of the of the quest. And this section right here is post accepting the quest. So once you accept the quest, this portion right here is going to be active. So the first entry here is, as you can see here on the right side in the section settings, we have a dialogue here, text content. This is your quest introduction. This is the this is what you're gonna see when you first talk to the guy. As for the dialogue type, here we have quest started. So here we have none, quest started, quest accepted, quest completed, dialogue closed, and post a quest accepted. So it's a must that you, you need to have one with quest started. That's, that's what marks the beginning of your quest. And then one has to have post quest accepted. So this is once you accept the quest, then the uh, quest dialogue goes from this point right here. So we add a quest starter or the type quest started here. We indicate our dialogue for the quest. Then we need to add the options for that dialogue. In this case, we have accept and reject. So these are also quest entries right here. So quest entry, this is a accept. I just renamed it here accept and this reject. So as you can see here. Let's take a look at accept. So accept has a button text. This button text is what we're going to see on this dialogue right here. We have a button text, which is fine. Prepare my money. I'll be right back, which is when we when you talk to the guy for the first time, he tells you what the quest is and you either press this button or this button. Um, so in this case, this is why we added it as linked entries. These are the buttons that will appear on this dialogue. And in those linked entries, you can Add the button text right there. The text content is what you will see once you click on this button, which is right here. So once you accept the quest, you'll say thank you. Um, and for reject, this is the name of the button. And then once you click on this button right here, it's going to say, right, welcome back if you change your mind. This is, of course, when you say no. And you can add linked entry. So you can complete the dialogue. You can make some pretty long dialogue if you want. So you can keep linking entries together and you will form like a long dialogue. So these right here for their dialogue type, they're set to none because there's their purpose is to simply show a dialogue. So this right here is an option that will show on these right here. So if you see here, we have linked entries, it's linking finish. Both of them have the same thing. So once you get to this part and this dialogue right here shows, then it will look for other linked entries to show as options you can click on. In this case, we have finish linked for both of them, meaning that you will see the finish uh, option on this dialogue right here. And the finish option is simply another dialogue, but this time the dialogue type is dialogue closed, meaning that once you get to this option right here, it will close the uh, quest dialogue. And the button on this right here is goodbye and it has no uh, linked entries. So let's go ahead and actually create our own um, dialogue here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything here uh, just to start from scratch. So what you wanna do here is you wanna drag the quest entry. So this is going to be our first quest or quest introduction. We talk to the guy for the first time, he'll tell us something. So for example, here we can say, hey, I need help. Like for example, killing 
mages, for example, since we need to kill two. And I need a shield. So I'm not gonna try to do like a crazy dialogue there, just simple, hey, I need killing mages and I need the shield. This dialogue type, very important, must be quest started. So this is where how we start our quest. Next, we need to add another dialogue right here. So I'm gonna drag one over here. What I'm gonna do here is I either accept the quest or reject the quest. Now you can add more dialogues, for example, ask him about the quest and I'll say something and you can either keep looping through similar dialogues but for simplicity here we'll simply say either we accept or we, or we reject so this is going to be our reject so i'm going to go ahead and very important you want to rename your um quest right here so i'm going to go ahead and do quest starter so i'm going to copy and paste another one and this is going to be for me accepting the quest so we're going to go ahead and well let's go ahead and name this that first so reject quest and this right here we're going to call it accept quest so these are going to be the two options that appear on this dialog. So we need to indicate those right here on linked entries. So we're going to go ahead and start with accepted and rejected. Okay, so as you can see, the link forms there automatically and it's like dynamic. And by the way, if the button order on the dialog is incorrect, you can uh, organize them right here. So for example, I can drag this and put it right here. So accept, then reject. Once we do that, we want to then go ahead and customize our dialog here. So for the reject uh, except here, we're gonna go ahead and do, I can't do that, for example. So I can't do that. For the text content, this is the response to this right here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, do that, for example. Um, so this is going to be the response after you click on this button right here. Uh, linked entries will add later. For the dialog type here, it's going to be none. So this is just a conversation. Same thing here. So the button here, sure, I can do that, for example. And for when you do that, when you choose that uh, option, we can say thank you. For example, just a simple thank you, why not? Thank you. And finally, I'm going to add a way to close the dialogue here. So I'm going to go to uh, dialog type here, um, dialog close, and I'm going to make sure that this is linked here. So I'm going to name it first. So close dialog or co close quest. And then I need to indicate it right here. So linked entries here, I'm going to add that uh, uh, close quest and same thing here, linked entries, close quest. And here, uh, all I need to do here is just uh, set a button text. I don't need to set any content, just uh, just present it as a option right here after I, after I see the thank you or the too bad. So you could say, for example, just a goodbye right here and the button text. So we're pretty much done with the, the quest introduction where you can accept or reject. So we need now to transition to the after accepting the quest. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and do the side. So right here, the first thing you wanna do here is dialogue type. This has to be uh, post accepted. So post quest accepted. So no button here is required because it's the first thing you see. Uh, but text content here, you can add something. So this is pretty much similar to this. So you need to do something like right here. We can say, for example, did you did you finish the task, for example? So he's asking about, uh, so this is talking to him after finishing the quest. So you might or might not have the uh, quest requirement done. So in this case, we're gonna do, did you finish the task? Um, and then of course, very important, the dialogue type here must be post uh, quest accepted. I'll move it right over here. So now we need to add uh, two entries here. One is for uh, having the required items and you can accept the quest. So for this first thing we need to do here is quest accepted. So this is what happens when you, um, so this is a button for accepting the quest when you have the uh, necessary items. So for the button here, we're gonna go ahead and do accept quest. As for the text content, this is what happens after you click on uh, uh, accept quest. So for the text content here, we can say, for example, thank you, you saved me or something like that. Okay, so thank you, you saved me, whatever, uh, positive response after completing the uh, the quest. And we need to add a way to close the quest, of course. We need to add another button to the this right here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that over here. So for this right here, I need to add these two. So let's go ahead and name them here. So what's this? This is post accept, for example. This we're gonna name it um, quest completed and this is simply close quest number two and once again you can link to this as well if you want but I'm gonna keep things clean here 
Um, so I'm going to uh, set both of these here in the linked here. So linked entries, I'm going to add two. Uh, one of them is this quest completed. Quest completed. And this is uh, close quest two. So I'm going to add it right here. There you go. And right here, this needs to also transition to this right here. So when you accept, you need also a way to um, close dialogue. Now, once again, after accepting, you can branch out to some other dialogue. You can like uh, add more options and extend the conversation. But in here, I'm simply gonna, gonna show a close uh, or a goodbye button. So I can simply add the quest uh, linked entries add one here, and it's gonna be that right there. So let's go ahead and verify that everything is good. So uh, that's the dialogue. So accept quest. Thank you, you saved me. And in here is just a simple goodbye. So once you do this, uh, go ahead and compile save real quick. Once you do this, you can select the root uh, item of the widget, which is uh, uh, this right here. And then you wanna go here and click on check or generate quest data. Once you do this, it should automatically generate seven elements, which is of course equivalent to our entries. And you can simply right click, copy. And if you wanna clear them, you can clear them if you want. Then you wanna go back to the data table where you have the quest. And now this is the quest dialog. You can simply right click and paste. And finally, you can copy the row name of the quest. Once again, make sure that it is similar to the, to the quest unique ID. I'm going to copy this um, quest uh, unique ID, then go to the uh, quest guy, select the quest info component, and then paste the row name here. You can work with multiple data tables if you want, just make sure you indicate it right here. So quest number three, and now we can pretty much go to the quest system here and just place our child, our guy right here. And since it's an AI, you can of course customize them however you want. Let's go ahead and talk to him and see if, if everything is um, correct. And by the way, you can also change the name of the guy. Uh, so let's see. So class default here, and I can simply say name, and we have quest guy right there. Let's go ahead and do a new quest, whatever. You can also change the color. So if you go to color, uh, this color right here is based on whatever he is. So he is by default other, so you can change it to yellow, for example. And that should show in the world, as you can see there. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him and let's see if everything is correct. So hunt the mage is the name of the quest that was set in, inside the data table. Hey, I need help killing mages and I need a shield. Objective, kill two mage uh, or kill two mage. So this is like the quest name that you need to set based on that. Um, so this right here, we set it inside the data table. We could have said mages, for example. So it should be kill two mages. Um, bring one. Okay, let's go ahead and modify this because it's bothering me a little bit. So this right here and objectives. So objective name, mages, and objective here, shield. Okay, so once we do that, we should have a proper conversation here. So click right there, kill two mages and bring one shield. And the reward is 500 XP, two skill points, and one dagger, and we'll get 10 gold. So these are the options that we selected. Sure, I can do that, or I can do that. Once you click on, I can do that, it'll say too bad, like we did. And we have a good buy here. Talk to him again. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. And we did one mistake here. Make sure that this is quest com completed, not quest accepted. So we did a mistake here. And of course, I made another mistake here. This right here where we accept the quest, we need the dialogue type here to be quest accepted, not started. So this quest started, this is accepted. This is none because we simply just reject the quest. Nothing should, not, not, nothing special is set. This is closed dialogue. This is uh, post quest accepted. This is quest completed and this is simply dialogue closed. So once again, whenever you made, uh, make changes here, you need to generate the data once again. So and check, check, copy and check again if you want. Go back to the data table here and paste the new dialogue right there. So let's go ahead and talk to him right now and hopefully we have a proper quest right now. So go ahead and talk to him. Let's say, sure, I can do that. Goodbye. So if I talk to him again, we should say, did you finish the task? So now we accepted the quest. And over here, we have a tab called quests. And here we can see current quests. If we click on it, you can see the, the description you gave in the data table, the name of course, objectives. So this is this tracks your objectives and the reward right there. So if I go here, and let's see, I have a shield, but it is equipped. So it's not gonna take my equipped uh, items. And also if you have items that have stuff in them, 
that will not be accepted. Uh, so that's just a kind of protecting you from giving items with items inside of them. So if I if I get a shield here, as you can see now it says, so it says here one out of one, so we have the shield here. Uh, and, that, and by the way, this is just a widget placed here. You can totally place it, place it somewhere else. Um, so right now we need to go kill two mages. I'm gonna go ahead and equip this sword because it's OP. All right, let's go. So we need two mages over here. So here's one. Okay, there you go. So now we need to wait for the uh, mage to spawn again. So we'll wait. And while waiting here, we can see that we killed one out of two mages. So we need one more. There you go, he just spawned. Let's go ahead and kill him real quick. And we should have now the quest complete. So let's go ahead and check. Two out of two mages, there you go. So now we should be able to uh, complete the quest right now. So let's go ahead and talk to him uh, real quick. All right, so let's talk to our guy right here. If I, if I talk to him right now, as you can see, now I have goodbye and accept quest. Once again, like I said, the order here, you can you can modify it inside the widget. We'll fix that later. But he says, did you finish the uh, task? I can just say goodbye or I can accept the quest. So once I accept the quest, as you can see, I got a dagger. He took the shield um, and I got my points and everything that I said there. And I have 10 gold as promised. And of course, points, we got nine there. So in terms of, uh, like I said, button order, you can simply, so we have uh, accept right here. So accept is last, and then we have that. So this needs to be right here. Then maybe this right here, why not? This is, so post accept, then quest completed or close. And that should uh, fix the order and make sure that once again, you click here, generate data, copy, and there you go. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, there will be more uh, improvements to the to the system so if you're interested or curious about improvements bug fixes etc make sure you join our discord channel so until then thank you for watching and see you next time goodbye